Since mobile footage of the Mediana flooding emerged, GRTS visited the community to assess the situation which has become even more worrying as torrential showers bring unprecedented rains this season. Tuesday's downpour inundated the entire community, flooding roads and access highways, linking the community to other towns. It was impossible to navigate rising flood waters, which put the Mediana on total lockdown, making movement difficult for residents in the Cumber North community. Students and commuters in the community missed an entire day as they waited for flood waters to recede. The situation leaves poor local households even more vulnerable, with many struggling to secure the day's meal before the evening curfew and rush hour. Images from Tuesday's downpour show cars submerged in the flood and many had to resort to wed through the water to cross over. Our visit availed us the opportunity to speak to people directly affected by the heavy rains. Most of these residents vacated their houses during Tuesday's heavy downpour, which caused severe damage to homes in the water's pathway. Uh, this house was living here um, nearly five years. But these two years, you know, it started, you know, to have this kind of problem. After the house, you know, broke on the one side. It has affected us because our mothers live in this house. But since this happened, we made them vacate the place. We are now accommodating one another in our houses. It is really a difficult situation. The community of Mediana is in a devastating state that could get even worse, and with forecasters predicting more rain, the community knows its woes are far from over. We spoke to Salifo, a resident of Mediana, who with other young people was quick to take a video of Tuesday's disaster and flooding, which prompted the state broadcaster to take a closer look at the issue. I am just a student, as of now on, when I'm going to school, number one affected. I am always affected at this point because it's the only way out that I just take in. And I sometimes don't walk by foot if I don't have a vehicle, you know. And sometimes I find it so much difficult because uh, much of the vehicle when it's raining, at heavy rain, much of them will not even go through this way. They will not use this road. The flooding has broad impacts that visitors clearly notice. So we're still in the community of Mediana, still assessing the situation at hand. And as it is, we're at a, a house, a compound to be precise, and we're seeing a well. Now this well is where the people of this house get their water for drinking and as well cooking. Now if you take a deep look inside this place, you see that the water is in fact above the usual or the normal level of uh, the water that this well contains. And this particular water is coming from the rains. When you take a look at this, this is in fact impossible for anybody to consume. Look right beyond me, what you see is livestock, you see cows. And as it is beyond this place, you have a place where the farmer keeps his feed for these cows. Now the rain has actually invaded the entire place, making it difficult for him to in fact secure any feeding for his livestock. The VDC chairman weighed in on the issue, emphasizing the need for government to be more responsive to their call and several discussions with officials all proved futile. We've been doing a lot. This year alone, if you could remember when you go to Alcaro's area, now we've, uh, we've collected gravel from block N coming towards Madiana. But that, that N and uh, Testo was unable to continue because of this rain. But we've wrote too many institutions, but yet still nothing comes out. And we have been following them. And, uh, and I'm using this opportunity to let the government know that the people of Madiana are suffering. And if you look at Madiana, Madiana is in Commonwealth, Commonwealth in the Bluefoot constituency. And uh, Madiana is the fourth biggest community in the Combo North. Really, if you look at this road, there are two main villages or three villages that are using this road. And Madiana being the leading food producer in this country. So we all know that even the economists, they said when the export is more than the import, then that a country, the, the economics of a country is, it seems to be good. And Madiana, what we are exporting from Madiana to outside Madiana is huge. Our visit coincided with the arrival of the National Disaster Management Agency officials from the NDMA Regional Office, who conducted house-to-house -house assessments of the situation. Actually, they really, really need help because there are other places where a human being, even other livestock, cannot even live. And I saw a place where a human being is living and which doesn't even fit a livestock to live. Okay, how far are we going to take the issue? That is up to the authority. What I am expected of doing and what I should do is assess the people, then send it to the higher authority. 
those guys are the one responding back to them. So if they respond back to us, then we also come back to the communities. An unfortunate incident continues to unfold with the heavens opening up even as we spoke to residents whose farms and cultivations were also disturbed by intense waters. Is it a question of infrastructural design, a swampy area, or in fact the lack of ability to uh, locate a good drainage system? This is a recurring issue in the community of Mediana, and as it is, the people are crying for help. What are the officials doing for a long-term solution to this very persistent issue? For Jatis News, Fatou Elika Muloshi.